portable apps. We can search for portable apps on Google. The first thing that we will get, if I change it to English, was the portableapp.com, which I found to be the best. Let's just choose download now. And let's pick this portable apps 14.1. This is a platform for the portable applications. It will ask us to install. As you can see, I'm found in the downloads. Let's install this. Next, next. New install and a custom location. Let's just place it in C portable. Yes. It's pretty straightforward and we can even let it create a shortcut if we want to start a pipe app when Windows starts, we can just check all this in. Of course, we have an information box, sponsors, something about the platform and the apps list. Okay, and we can already get started with this. So this is, let's just close this behind. This is the complete list of the applications that are available. As you can see, they are pretty, there's a lot of them. Of course, I don't think anybody actually needs all of that. You can just select everything, but I'll just pick a couple that I found very useful, which is Notepad++. Let's see. The education will pick nothing, no games for now. You can experiment with that later. Uh, from graphics, I do like InfraView, Blender for 3D animation or for 3D modeling, and XM View, just the view. From the internet, what I find really interesting is to use Mozilla Firefox from here and even Google Chrome Portable. Uh, of course, Skype. It's much easier if I don't have to install it torrent if you want you can pick that for players media player i like this one and of course tencoder if i want to convert into an audio to convert audio and video i find that quite useful pdf exchange for pdfs let's see security i'll leave that off for now 7zip if I don't have an archiver installed, I usually use WinRAR for it. I do like that a little bit most. And okay, let's enough just for now. You can select, you can even select everything if you want in one moment. So what we will see here is that the portable apps platform will download all these softwares and it will install them in that path that it asked us in the beginning so if i go in the meantime to see portable i can see this is a star so this is the launcher and here we have the portable app folder right now there's nothing installed but except the platform itself but we will see it will populate as these downloads proceed i do like this portable apps platform quite a lot as you can just copy it zip it place it just take it with you wherever you want and everything is just right there you don't need to install it it works just copy it on the usb let's see in the meantime some of the options here i do like the english to be set up for everything font is okay for me let's see connection well no it's nothing specific that we need right now i did like here the red interface for this launcher here and in the advanced, we can see that it can check for updates, which is a really nice feature. So once you pick that, it will notify you whenever it has a, an update for the application. You can even check the beta. I don't like that a lot. Um, let's see. We can so expand the categories. There's several options here that we will get into. A little bit later the one that I would suggest is just to select this uh, if it's selected the close apps on platform exit once you close this window on the right here it'll ask you to close all the applications so don't leave it checked just leave it like that and hit ok and there you can see I do like this interface quite a lot 
and it's on the opposite side of star menu so which is fine with me so we still have like two applications to be downloaded it's going pretty smoothly let's just wait for it so it did stop and finished downloading now it will be installing all the 10 softwares in the meantime i do suggest creating a shortcut on the desktop just for the launcher itself i find it more useful to do only that rather than you can't create a shortcut on for each program but i do suggest creating this single one it will be much more easier well, let's see it does ask me for agreement on the usage of these applications now these are all open source or free softwares it doesn't include any shareware or anything that has a trial period uh, so except maybe the PDF exchange um, so for example it doesn't have total commander which I showed in a different video it doesn't even I don't think it includes the OBS I honestly have not checked this but let's see it should be over in just about a couple of seconds okay so it has been done portal blocks have been added and we can see here that everything has been already included into the launcher we can click here and we can see them by category and as you can see everything has their own end name with portable and in the options we can check to hide portable in app names there and it's a little bit more clearer for us and if i close this right now it tells me if I want to close my apps on exit, I will say no to this. So if I want to open it again, just launch it from here. Let's just open a notepad. I have splash screens on it, so everything seems to be working. Of course, if I want to load one of the applications, I can just go into the document folder. And as you can see right now, it has all of the folders and I can just change one and launch it from here if I want and I can even do a shortcut to this right away and so here's the entire list if I open notepad++ the launcher is still here if I close it notepad is still here I can reopen it if I want to add another app to it I can just add an app get more apps let's say by category and it will check the list to get it updated online and we'll show it again so um, we can just pick one have it installed it'll download it quite fast it's so it's included and here it is okay well that's pretty much it thank you for watching so if you like this video please check my other ones and subscribe thank you bye bye